Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. I am in the back of a Cutlass Red. The Evocati apparently have one in the 3.8.1 C build. Uh, I thought I'd give you a very quick tour uh, of the ship. So you literally have this back section, and which is your entry exit point, and uh, with ramp, uh, and it actually has this. Let's close the door. So it is a section closed off airlock, so that you have a total separate section with the medi beds uh, and like proper airlocked area. And we've got a little bit of sort of like component storage here. Um, component housing, you see, clearly labelled. Uh, and then we'll open this airlock and close it behind us. Uh, and we've got four bunk beds and two medi beds in here, which is actually pretty cool. The back of this cutlass red is pretty strong, pretty big. Um, so we've got two. Uh, ports that can't, don't open yet properly. I can seal them and open them, but it doesn't actually do anything at the moment. Um, I suspect they will fix that. Uh, we've got two bunk beds there. We've got two medi beds here, uh, and we can lay down in them. So they are perfectly functional as the new medi bed system, and then you can set them as ICU. So I, I'll clear this one as my preferred ICU. You can see a red flashing light to indicate that I'm no longer attached to it. And then we can set it as our ICU, our Intensive care unit. This is our respawn point temporarily on the server. And if you see me get up, hope this works. Otherwise, I will be annoyed. And I'm going to kill myself. Perfect. <laughs> Just to my leg. Exactly what I wanted. Come on. Spawn in the bed. Go, team. Perfect. Uh, and we are back in our little medi bed. Get out, pressing Y. We've got to lie down in the beds to, to use them, the, the medi beds. Um, we've got some beds we can log out in here. We've got some people that were joined to me from Port Olisar. The ship is sort of out of control. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else in here. Is there any component storage? Obviously, the typical old Drake stuff. Probably got some component storage here eventually, or some storage cupboards. And then we go into the front section. The front section, I believe, is pretty much the same as the standard Cutlass Black. Got an exposed panel here which isn't um, working or functioning correctly at the moment, but it is in the PTU. Uh, and then we've got a seat here which controls the top, sort of like, um, I don't, what sort of turrets are the top? What turret is in the top of Cutlass? Cutlass Red. The top turret of Cutlass Red. Uh, we'll have a look at it in a second. I think it's some sort of um, scanny, um, passive radar -y type turret for search and rescue type operations. And scanning the area, but it's not a not a pew pew turret. No, no guns on that turret. New no pew pews. Um, but we've got another couple of bunk beds here. We've got some more component sort of um, uh, storage and compartments, and some actual little storage pods as well. Uh, once we have physicalized inventories and physicalized components, these will come uh, to life a bit more. You can see it's actually a reasonably big feeling ship, and it's got four bunk beds, two medi beds, that turret seat. Uh, and then the pilot and co-pilot chair. I'm going to jump in the pilot chair. So you can see it in all its glory on the exterior. So on the exterior of the Cutlass Red, it does look pretty cool. Um, so we've got the engines. Let's pull out the landing gear, actually. We've got the engines in that sort of like um, downward facing mode at the moment. We'll go into quantum in a minute. We'll have them pointing forward um, as they're supposed to. The landing gear looks pretty cool. It's it's basically pretty standard cutlass with a bit of a different skin. However, there are some cool little parts of that. Um, we've got the little scanning turret at the top instead of a pew pew turret. Uh, but also when we press T, we get the ambulance lights and oh, they're really bloody bright at the moment. But uh, I really, really like the look of the pew 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 uh, of the uh, ambulance lights on this ship uh, and the rescue illuminated there. Not entirely well because of the curve, but uh, I think the ship looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, look at it from the top and get some different angles. So it's got all medium components, I believe. Let's actually bring up what it's got on the Moby glass. Uh, vehicle loadout, Atlas Red, propulsion. Uh, so it's got a size 2 quantum drive, uh, the Bolon. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, Nice to cooler, um, the cool cores, two of them. Then we've got 
Uh, eight <laughs> power plant. Um, the diligence. Uh, it's a size two again. I think it's all medium components. And a size two shield generator. Um, let us um, stop for the, the lovely police officers. Uh, so weapons wise, we've got a couple of the neutron repeaters. Um, size 2s on size 3 gimbal mounts, uh, and then we've got a couple of badger laser repeaters on size 3 gimbals as well, so uh, size 2 weapons on size 3 gimbals, and then we've got the um, Toshima turret, which is the um, little scanny turret there that doesn't really have any functionality yet. Um, the colour red looks pretty cool, let's go into quantum uh, with her, uh, bam. For some reason, instead of ambulance sounds, so I've got sort of like Ghostbuster sounds in my head for the ship. Now I've got the engines in the correct orientation. But yeah, that's a quick look at the Cutlass Red. Cool looking ship. Really, really useful at the moment for entry level, sort of like getting the mechanic for the medibed respawning. So you can have people spawning while doing a, a PvP event or if you want to um, attack uh, a PvE location or something and don't want to risk dying, you can set these uh, medibeds as your um, intensive care unit spawn as your like temporary respawn and then just zerg people out or whatever But uh, really really cool for if you want to do um, Daymar rally or if you're wanting to do a uh, fight club or or something like that or one of Rexilla's um, 25 v 25 um, sort of deathmatch things cool cool idea cool short-term mechanic obviously there's a lot of balance uh, before it's um, uh, When the game's finalized um, it's gonna have a load of exploits and um, it, it is very much a short-term feature but um, tell me what you think of the Cutlass Red down below. Hopefully it'll be in your hands in the not-too-distant future with a 3.8.1 live build. Uh, this is currently the 3.8.1 C build. And we will look more at this patch a little bit later.